Hello everyone, welcome back to Nomo Studio. In this video, ay sasagutan natin ang mga random questions for numerical ability which is a part of the upcoming career service examination. Lagi nating sinasabi sa ating mga videos na huwag i-memorize ang mga tanong bagkos i-familiarize lamang kung paano natin sinolve ang mga problems. Sapagkat hindi naman po talaga natin mahuhulaan ang mga lalabas na tanong pero yung pamamaraan ng pag-solve ay magagamit mo during the examination. O ayan, sige, simulan na natin. Question number one. Catherine went to Robinson's Place but one for the three-day sale. She bought a new jacket and paid only 990 pesos discounted for 25% off. What was the original price of the jacket? Take note that when solving this kind of problem, once na given na po ang discounted na price at ang discount rate, all you have to do is to divide the discounted price by 100 minus the given discount rate. So in this case, 990 divided by 75% kasi 100% minus 25% is 75%. Sir, bakit kailangan i-minus ang 25% sa 100%? Kasi di ba ang original na price is totally 100% talaga yon. Original na presyo na yun eh. Tapos di ba may pa-discount na 25%? Ibig sabihin nito, yung buong 100% na presyo ay babawasan natin ng 25%. Therefore, may 75% na natira. In which, yan yung babayaran mo sa cashier as payment sa jacket. Right? Are we good? Okay, so now let's try to divide 990 by 75%. So now, first, we have to move this decimal point after sa 5 Para magiging whole number na siya, hindi na yung my point. So, we have 1, 2. So, after sa 5, diba? So, kung ilang movement yung ginawa natin dito, yun yung idadagdag natin na zeros dito sa kabila. Since we move 2 decimal places, magdadagdag tayo ng dalawang zero. 99 divided by 75 and that is equal to 1. 1 times 75 and that is equal to 75. So, 99 minus 75, that is 24. Bring down 0, so magiging to 40. So, to 40 divided by 75, and that is 3. 3 times 75, we have 225. Now, 240 minus 225, we have 15. Bring down 0, so magiging 150 na siya. 150 divided by 75, we have 2. 2 times 75, and that is 150. 150 minus 150, we have 0. 0 divided by 75 and that is equal to 0. 0 times 75 and that is 0 again. So we have 0 remainder at yung correct answer natin is 1,320. Ibig sabihin nito, yung original price natin dito is 1,320 pesos. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Again, take note. Kapag given ang discounted price tsaka discount rate, just divide the discounted price by 100% minus the given discount rate. At yun na yung original price. Next question we have, 30 students took an English proficiency test. If 22 students passed the test, what percentage did that fail? First is to find out how many students that did not pass the test. So for us to get the number of students who failed the test, we have to subtract 30 by 22. And that is equal to 8. So there are 8 students who failed the test. And now we will divide 8 by 30 and that is equal to 0 0.266666. After dividing 8 by 30, just multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. To easily convert a decimal to a percentage, just count the number of zeros in 100. Since there are two zeros in 100, we have to count two decimal places from left to right. So we have 1, 2. Therefore, there are 26.66% of students who failed the English proficiency test. So, the correct answer is letter C. Question number 3. Kent bought 5 boxes of cigarettes worth 290 pesos each. 
3 cases of shampoo worth 198 pesos each and 8 boxes of oats at 129 pesos each. Since he redeemed 80 points from his socket card and he was given 15% discount on his total purchase, how much did he have to pay? Ibig sabihin nito, si Kent bumili ng cigarettes 5 boxes. That means yung presyo ng kada box is 290 each. So we need to multiply 290 by 5 and that is 4 cigarettes. Also with the cases of shampoo, so we have to multiply 198 by 3. And also with the boxes of oats, so 129 multiplied by 8. After getting the result for every items, so we need to add them up. So we have 3,076 pesos in total. Since he redeemed 80 points from his Suki card, so we need to subtract 80 points or 80 pesos from the total purchase. Also, he was given 15% discount on his total purchase. So we need to subtract 15% from the total purchase. But first, bago natin makuha yung 15% nito, ay i-multiply muna natin yung 0.15 sa 2,996 para malaman natin kung magkano nga ba yung 15% ng total purchase in which yun yung ididak natin sa total purchase. So, this is equal to 449 pesos and 40 centavos. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, yung 15% ng total purchase is 449 pesos and 40 centavos. That means, ididak natin yung 15% na ito sa total purchase para makuha natin yung net na babayaran ni Kent. And so, 2,996 minus 449.40 and that is equal to 2,546.60 centavos. This means that Kent will have to pay 2,546 pesos and 60 centavos to the cashier. And therefore, the correct answer is letter B. So, let's proceed to our next problem. We have, what is 10% of 35% of 520? So, kapag mag-solve kayo ng problem na ito, tingnan nyo lang yung mga salitang ginamit. So, since dito is uh, off, that means multiplication. So, 10% of 35% of 520. That means, 10% multiplied by 35% multiplied by 520. By commutative property of multiplication, kahit na magkabaliktad-baliktad yung mga numbers, the same answers. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na mauna yung 520 multiplied by 0.10 by 0.35, same answers. Uh, no need na siguro na ipakita ko pa yung solution on how to multiply these numbers kasi uh, this is very basic, no? So, elementary lang yung multiplication. So, the result is 18.2. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Last sample problem, we have Nomo University has 20,900 students. 40% of its population are scholars of the government. Only 15% of them are education students. Now, how many are education students? Understand the given situation and try to solve the problem. So, ang sabi sa statement, Nomo University has 20,900 students, pero 40% lang ng population ang scholar ng government. Ibig sabihin nito, para makuha natin kung ilan nga ba ang scholars ng government, we will multiply 20,900 by 0.4. And the result is 8,360. Therefore, there are 8,360 students who are scholars of the government. Pero, hindi pa dyan nagtatapos kasi may nakalagay pa na only 15% of them are education students. At para makuha natin yung bilang ng mga education students na scholar ng government, imumultiply natin yung 8,360 by 0.15. Take note, hindi tayo magmumultiply ng 0.15 sa 20,900 kasi yung 20,900 students, whole population yon ng Nomo University. While ang tinutukoy lang dito na 15% is yung mga education students na scholar ng government. Since 8,360 lang yung mga scholars, that is why sa 8,360 tayo magmumultiply ng 0.15. So we have 8,360 multiplied by 0.15. 
and that is equal to 1,254. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C. To improve our channel, let me give this performance survey para makita ko kung anong dapat i-improve sa ating channel. And don't worry, the survey is anonymous. The survey link is on the description box. And also, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Share this video to your friends who are also reviewing online. That's all. Bye for now.